Hi everybody, welcome to your everyday math lesson for lesson 8.2. So we are going to be working in your everyday math workbook today. We're gonna to be working, I'm gonna move my camera, there we go. On page 279 in our uh, student volume two, sorry, Lord help me today, <laughs> of our math workbook. So we're gonna start by looking at our um, math message. So it says, find the area of the rectangle in problem 1A. Then talk with a partner about how you could find the area of the triangle in problem 1B. So we're going to kind of do both together today. So 1A, let's see it. 1A says one unit is a square feet. What, like one rectangle is one square feet or one square unit. Great. So how would we find the area of rectangle A? See if you can find it on your own. What do you think the area is? <clears throat> now, some of you would have been like, oh, Ms. Gilman, I know how to do this. I know that I can count the boxes. Great. Ms. Gilman, I know I can do this because I do link times width. Great. I don't care which way you do this problem. Which one works for you? So we are going to try both. I'm going to start by finding my area, my length and my width, because that is one way that we can find the area. My length is one, two, three, four, five, six. So six. My width is one, two, three, and a half. Six times three and a half is 21. Absolutely. Another way you could have done this is you could have count the boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Absolutely. You could have done that any of those two ways. Now it gets tricky. Look at problem B. What do you think the area of the triangle in problem B is. I want you to try this one on your own. I'm gonna pause the video. I want you to see if you can figure out the answer. Um, and I want you to click continue when you have the answer. Okay, this one is tricky. Yes, I can find my length. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can find my width. One, two, three and a half. but it's a triangle. So, okay, one option I could count boxes. That's a whole one, two, three, four. Oh, those aren't. Five, six. Mm. I have six holes, six whole boxes, and that's it. Do I just throw these other boxes away and say my volume six? No, or my area six, no. There are two options that you can do for this one as well. There is a formula that you can use, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. Or what you can do is called the rectangle method. So the rectangle method means that you're gonna basically make this into a rectangle. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Imagine that the rest of the rectangle is there. Imagine that what I drew is the rest of this rectangle. You can find the area of the whole rectangle. And then after you do that, you can divide by two. Because this half of my rectangle is exactly half of the whole, of the complete rectangle. The rectangle method is I find my area, six times three and a half, which is 21 then divide by two. Okay, six times uh, three, so 21 divided by two. The reason why we do that again is because it's half. So two goes into one, uh, two, one time, zero left over, two goes into one zero times with one left over. So your answer would be 10 and a half. That makes sense. 
So we've taught you how to find area of rectangles, super easy. To find the area of a triangle, it's literally one half times length times width. So multiply length times width and then divide by two. That's how you do it. Okay. Number two, explain how you use the rectangle in problem 1A to help you find the area of the rectangle in 1B. Well, because we already did the math. Done. Explain the rectangle method. This is the one that I'm going to do with you. You draw the rest of the rectangle. and find the area. Then divide by two. Go ahead and write that down. Now, you can use the rectangle method with more shapes than just a triangle. So we're going to kind of go through those shapes here on the next page. So we're going to be on to page 280, 280. So it says using the rectangle method to find the area. So on these questions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one at a time with you. We're going to go through the process and we're going to figure it out. So here we go. Number one, I'm going to start by drawing my rectangle going straight across here. I see that this is about one and a half tall and one, two, three, four, five, about five units or centimeters wide. So five times one and a half. What is five times one and a half? Well, five times one and a half is about seven and a half. Now I have to divide by two. So seven and a half divided by two. Let's see, I'm gonna keep, change, flip. So seven times two, 14. So 15 over two, keep, change, <whistles> flip. 15 times one is 15. Two times two is four. 15 over four. If I divide 15 divided by 4, my answer is 3 with 3 left over. So 3 and 3 fourths. Okay. The reason why I divide by 2 is because it is half of the entire shape. Great. Now, when we have a triangle, like number 1 and number 3, our steps are simple. It's two steps. Find the area of the rectangle, divide by two. So let's do number three. Let's find the area of this rectangle. So one, two, three, by one, two, three, four and a half. Find the area of the rectangle, divide by two. So do three, times four and a half. What's three times four and a half? Three times four and a half. Okay, three times four is 12. 13 and a half. The way I did that is because I did three times four is 12. Three times a half is one and a half, and I added them together. So 13 and a half. And then I'm going to divide by two. Okay. Make it into an Im improper fraction, just like we did this one. Keep change flip and find my answer. What is 13 and a half divided by two? Twenty seven over two. Keep change. 
and flip. 27 times 1 is 27. 2 times 2 is 4. What is 27 divided by 4? 27 divided by 4. Twenty-seven divided by four is six. Six times four is twenty-four, with three left over. So, my answer for this one would be six and three fourths. Here we go. Number two and number four. Oh, these are tricky. These are tricky. The reason why they are tricky is because it's a multi-step problem. What you have to do is you have to first start by separating your shape. Notice what I did. Finding the area of this rectangle is easy. And then I find the area of this extra triangle. And then I add them together. So let's do that. My area of this rectangle is going to be one, two, three, four times one, two and a half. What is four times two and a half? Go. Four times two and a half is 10. So this rectangle right here is 10 centimeter squared. Okay, now let's do this one. This one is going to be two and a half times one. All right, two and a half times one I know is two and a half. But remember, I have to divide by two because it's only a triangle, it's half of that. So two and one half divided by two. What is two and a half divided by two? All right, keep, change, flip. So two times two is four. So five halves divided by one half, e or times one half equals five fourths. Five fourths is the same as one and one fourth. And now I add them together, 10, plus one and one fourth is 11 and one fourth. Whew. Oh, it's a lot. Multi-step problems, we don't like multi-step problems. You can do it though. Let's try the next one, here we go. And I'm gonna change colors here just because I need a change of pace. Let's do this next one. I'm gonna again start by making it into a rectangle and a rectangle. All right, I'm gonna start by doing this one. I think that this one could be kind of easy. Okay, we have a half here and a half here. What does that make? One whole. We have one, two, three, and a half. Well, what's one times three and a half? Uh, three and a half, done. That part's done, the easy part's done. <laughs> now let's do the other one. One, two and a half times three and a half. So do the math. What is two and one half times three and one half? Do the math, what is the answer? All right, here we go. Two times two is four plus one is five halves times. Three times two is six plus one is seven halves. Five times seven is 35. Two times two is four, 35 over four. Now I'm gonna keep it simple because I know I have to divide by two. So 35 over four divided by two. I'm gonna keep change flip, 35 fourths times one half. All right, 35 times one is 35. Two times four is eight, and now I divide. 35 divided by eight equals what? Make it into a mixed number. Well, I know that eight goes into 35. 
four times, because that's 32, with three left over. So four and three eighths is this part right here. So four and three eighths, done. Plus three and one half. What is four and three eighths plus three and a half? Go. All right, remember to find, to do this first before I can add, I must find a common denominator, which is eight. So four plus three is seven. Three eighths plus four eighths, because one half is the same as four eighths. So three eighths plus four eighths equals seven eighths. A lot of steps on that one, guys. A lot of steps. These last two are just as tricky. Okay? They're just as tricky. So we have two rectangles here on the sides. and my one in the middle. The good thing is though, these are kind of symmetrical. Hmm. So half of this one is one and half of this one is one. So I bet if I take this piece plus this piece, it would just be like one side, right? So I shouldn't have to divide by two this time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and it's about half. So one half times five. What's one half times five? Two and a half, absolutely. So each of these pieces together is half of that. Does that make sense? So this piece here, plus this piece here is going to equal two and one half because I'm going to put them together. One, two, three, four, five times one, which equals five. Two and a half plus five is seven and a half. Wow. The reason why this works is because I can take this rectangle right here and I can look at the measurement of it, right? And I see that it's two by three and a half. Correct? I can see that this one is also two by three and a half. Now, we learned earlier that what I do is I figure out my, my area for this piece and I cut it in half. And then I would figure out my area for this one and cut it in half. Well, my answer is going to be the same. Right? Two times three and a half divided by two. plus two times three and a half divided by two, it equals each other out, guys. When you have a shape like this, if it is symmetrical, if one side has the exact same measurement as the other side, then you can kind of do a little cheat method. You can basically pretend that this piece is flipped over or moved over and then just find the area of that one rectangle. So this one, we only have to do the math once. Three and a half times two is seven. Done. The reason why is because three and a half times two, seven, divided by two is three and a half. Same thing here, three and a half times two divided by two, is three and a half. So this piece plus this piece is the total. Does that make sense?
It's a little bit tricky. All right, that is how you find the area of rectangle, different things that are rect using rectangle, rectangle model, Lord help me today, rectangle method when finding these shapes. The big thing, guys, this is the main stuff that you need to know. First of all, to find the area of a triangle, you're going to do one half times length times width or base times height. Okay. If you use that rectangle model, basically that's what you're doing. Okay. Got me? Awesome. We are going to do another video um, for the rest of lesson 8.2. This is it for now. Please have a great day. Make sure that you are taking notes on these lessons. I hope that this helps when finding area of a triangle. You will be using this a little bit more and deeper next school year and in sixth grade. Bye, guys.